Hello there everybody, I'm Rix here, back with another LEGO related video, and I, this is not my permanent studio, I just moved, and it's just a temporary studio, just for when I do reviews. The reason I'm making this review now is basically I have a rule, if I build a set, I have to review it, because I know if I, like, build all my sets and then review all of them in a row, it will be kind of difficult, so I'm gonna kind of mix it up, so, yeah. Uh, let's get into it, this is from The Last Jedi uh, I'll get the official name, but it's like, uh, the Resistance Troop Transport, or that's the bigger version of it, but anyway, it retailed for $30 in the U.S., it came out in 2017, I believe all this information will come at the end of the video or in the title, but let's get into it, but, so basically, it's kind of the pod that Finn and Rose, uh, kind of left when they kind of betrayed Admiral Haldo, you know, however you look at that, but, um, let's start with the outside of this, and first of all, it's pretty big, like, I don't think I realized how big this was, but in hand, it is pretty big, but, uh, yeah, this design looks pretty cool, I definitely like all the coloring to it, it has a lot of features built into it, which we'll look at later, again, sorry about the light, this is a temporary studio, but then it has that engine made with four minifigure heads in that translucent blue, and I really like that ring going around it. Again, very similar to that section from the bigger ship from The Force Awakens. It would be cool if, like, they had a bigger version of that, and then the First Order blew it up, but then the Resistance kind of scavenged this, and that's why this kind of looks like it was just slapped on there. And about this gun, I don't like at all how there are two holes here. I think they could have easily put one by ones in gray to kind of make that look better. But, you know, if it was slapped on, then it would make more sense. But anyway, there's a play feature back here where you can move this gun. 360. And that's just because of some geared mechanisms going through the model. We'll take a look at that. But basically, each pu uh, piece pushes the next until, you know, they all spin. So here's the knob. And that works pretty well. And I like how it works. There's a stud shooter, so you could press on that. An extra or two is included in the set. And this, okay, this comes off, but this, this was a hassle to put on. It has, I believe, seven, yes, seven stickers to put on. Sorry, it's more than seven. I think it's, let's count it real quickly. What, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, so seven stickers. Um, maybe I missed something, because I heard some people say it was eight stickers, and I have, like, a sticker on this side, but there is none on this side, and that, like, that really annoys me, because just because this side is going to be covered most of this time, you know, you could, like, just easily add in that extra detail, so maybe I just made a mistake, and I'll have to double-check that, but this is a big specialized piece. Let's just start peeling stuff off then because there's a lot in this small set so yeah those are the sections that kind of peel off and here's the actual ship itself so basically in here you have a gun which you can easily take off you build it up a bit just two pieces and then you have these two kind of uh, detonators, thermal detonators right there, using nice prints, you do get an extra print in this set, and look at this, BB-8 fits, that is amazing, so I was worried that BB-8 wouldn't fit, but there he is, and you could, if you put this on and have, well, if you have everything on, and take this off, so let's just put a couple things on like this, you can kind of see him, it's dark right now, but that's him, and I can't see him in real life in person, so... Anyway, it's pretty roomy in this whole cockpit area on the hole. So basically, that is where Finn would go in the back. That where, that's where Rose would go in the front. And there's a little control. It's nicely built up. Rose can actually reach it, unlike a lot of LEGO vehicles. I like how this thing looks for the bottom. I mean, I like this side section right here, this kind of curve. But from the bottom, it doesn't look all that bad. Anyway... You got some extra storage there. Maybe if you had an extra gun or two, you could fit that in. BB will not fit here. I tied. That's where I originally thought he was supposed to go. Oh, and there's the gear mechanism that kind of helps move that gun. And that's BB-8. So, um, there's one last feature of the set when you push this wheel. Spring-loaded shooters, two of them. 
right from there and it's another geared mechanism on the inside so yeah there's definitely a lot uh for the interior okay so the verdict this is a 30 dollar set and it's still on lay.com for the past two years this set does not sell well at all but let's take a look at the original price. So, th $30 for 294 pieces. Price to part ratio is pretty perfect. Three figures, a new uh, exclusive print for Finn. And I just realized I didn't cover the figures. Okay, after this. But Rose, which, you know, this is the cheapest set to get that new character. And BB-8 is whatever. But uh, the build is pretty nice. And there's a lot of bulk to it. And I don't know. I feel like... When you build this up, that's really when you see the value and the bulk and all of that. But as it sounds right now, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's, okay, I, I, I see the value there for $30. But then again, I would rather get a different $30 set which with more po uh, play value, like maybe the Cloud Rider Swoop Bikes, which I've reviewed. So, yeah, that... I think has a lot more play value than something like this, but hey, on LEGO.com, they're giving a sale on this for $23. If this was $20, I know it would sell super fast, and it's $23, so that's pretty good. And I know that, hey, we found that at Target and Walmart before, but I prefer going on LEGO.com because if you buy, you know, like sometimes they have promotions, buy $30 worth of stuff, get this for free, that's one good thing, and I am a VIP member, so... Yeah, if you can find this for 23, I definitely recommend it. If you can't, then I'll just think about it. But now let's go on to the figures I forgot. Come to think of it, maybe the reason I forgot is because I didn't have my minifigure stand or anything. I really just moved. Oh, not just moved, actually. It's been a couple weeks. But I really just started building and getting into this Lego stuff. But yeah, BB-8 is pretty nice. You know, the molds they first came up with him for him was pretty perfect sorry about the shadow again uh temporary studio but yeah i like him and the printing around the head is pretty good it's not wompy like what they start to do with r2d2 so it's just two pieces and they always look good the fin of this set i believe uses gunmetal gray legs so that's amazing and it does have some printing on there you see kind of that gun holster and he does have a belt right there for the uh for the kind of belt and then that torso print is really nice it has a lot of detail not only do you see his skin right there under that shirt and but then you also get that jacket which has all extra added detail you always get his hair piece and that nice happy expression which i believe is exclusive to the set i can't be sure and then you have his back torso print which has the stitches from when kylo ren cut him and just fine stitching from when the shit was originally made all around so this figure is definitely detailed, and there's that back face print. I saved what, in my opinion, is the best for last, because sure, you know, a lot of people didn't really like what was in the movie, and maybe she's not the greatest figure, though she does have detailing, but this is the cheapest way to get her, and she's the main character, that is the main draw for me to get this set. But anyway, she has uh, the leg printing that floats pretty well onto the torso printing, I think it looks... Pretty nice, especially with the belt and all that. There's her face print. That hair piece is also pretty nice. I could see them using that in Ninjago, though I think they might have in one set, but I can't recall one, so maybe they haven't yet. And there is that alternate face print for her. I remember when the set was released before the movie, not only the fiasco where LEGO got mad at reviewers who got them early, which reviewers often do, but um, I remember that no one knew who she was because the trailers only showed like Ray and Kylo Ren and Luke, and that was it. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.